Hey folks. Excuse the broken sign, I'll have to get that put back up properly, which I could probably do better myself. Um, so today, so I have a requested project to do uh, from a, a subscriber. I do many uh, commissions to be fair. But I did in the early days say that I would do this for this chat and it is kind of special to him because it's for his wife it's for i believe their wedding anniversary possibly is it wedding anniversary i think it's wedding anniversary she kind of likes the the pencil pots that i make and uh, also they've got a little thing going on for heart rocks i didn't know what that was when i was kind of said what, what's a heart rock so apparently they're rocks in the shape of a heart simple really i suppose i should have known that one the guy would like me to find a heart rock um, and put it into the pot, like in the top. Um, I've been searching around and I happened to come across this whilst I was away on holiday. It's not quite a heart rock, but it is, kind of, because the rock isn't shaped in a heart, but as you can see, there's a heart in it. I haven't drawn that on there, by the way. <laughs> it's there inside the rock. Um, and I thought, well, that's pretty cool. And I thought, that'll, that'll work quite nicely for that little project. So, I'm going to be putting that in the top of the um, of the pencil pot, and that's going to be set in resin. So I don't know how to work that out yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out somewhere. And here's my pencil. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little pencil pot. It's going to be something similar to what you've seen before, but um, I'll try not to make it too boring for you. Um, so we're going to have the idea, and he sketched out an idea of what he wanted for, for um, his wife. I think her name's Premau, is it? I'll have to check that. I might have got that wrong. But we want kind of like a bit of wood at the bottom, then we want scattered pencils, then a bit of wood in the middle, scattered pencils, and then a lid with that in the top. Right, buddy, this is for you and your wife, and uh, I'm gonna go and check the name now because I should really know the names. So I'll be back. So yes, <coughs> it's Pramel, and this is from Keaton. That's a cool name. They're both pretty cool names, actually. Keaton and Primel. Hmm. So this is for their 25th wedding anniversary, I believe. I think I've got that right. And uh, so it's a little gift from Keaton to his wife. I need to fix this sign.
as I see it so far. Um, so this is just half of the pot because um, it needs to be sort of a little bit taller than normal. Um, and that's kind of like uh, what Keaton has kind of requested. So um, so we're going to um, going to finish the bottom now because this is the bottom. So I'm going to mount this back up in the lathe because I've made a tenon up here. And then that's going to allow me to finish the, the, the bottom here and then that can, we can then reverse chuck it and then hollow out the middle. Three coats of sanding sealer on this and I've sanded it back to about 400 grit. Um, it's always best to finish this base off now while you've got a really good opportunity. Now you can, there are ways to finish it um, if you don't finish it correctly uh, by mounting it back in the chuck you know inside once you've hollowed it out but that's not really a great idea. Um, the reason for that is because one you might crack the inside if you kind of open the jaws up too much um, Two you might mark the inside as well um, And it's just much better to try to finish this now whilst it's nice and secure in the uh, in the chuck next up a Bit of Yorkshire grit. I love this stuff. This is a really good um, product uh, as you know, I use it quite often and um, it's a really good in-betweener. So uh, you've got the sanding sealer on there, stick the Yorkshire grid in there, um, and then uh, we can finish it with some uh, probably wood wax 22, or maybe some uh, Sheila wax. But first, let's get the paste out. <laughs> So I've finished with the uh, Yorkshire grit and as you can see it's come up pretty well. Um, I decided I'm not going to use the uh, Wood Wax 22 today. I'm going to use this. The Micro Cry Stallion Wax. It's actually not pronounced that way. But I think it actually sounds a bit better. Micro Cry Stallion. Sounds quite powerful. Wow, look at that. That has come up beautiful. I don't actually think we need to use anything else on this, to be honest. This Micro Cry Stallion is actually pretty awesome. The link down below for this stuff. I think you should check it out. Okay, so there we go, that's uh, where we've got to so far with this uh, kind of pencil pot. So we finished the bottom off. I'll finish the inside now because obviously that's kind of the, gonna be the last chance I'm gonna really be able to get in there properly. 
So uh, I think I'll leave that now. So I've done the inside, done the bottom. Um, I think we may take a little bit off of this because we're not sure if I want it this thick really. I'll probably half that maybe. Um, but before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this one up now onto the lathe. This is going to be kind of the, the, the section that's going to sit in between here um, and then we're going to have a lid on this one as well. And the idea is the pencils, we actually use it to put pencils in it because Keaton has suggested that his wife uh, Primel that's going to want to use this kind of like on her desk so we want to be able to have a lid on it, take the lid off and the pencils are kind of like, you know, popping through the top. So that's kind of the plan at the moment. So going to get this on the lathe and see if we can sort of shape this around and start to cut out a lid. The lid is going to be within the wood so uh, just need to be quite tactical about how we do this. Okay, so uh, I've done the hollowing out on this one uh, and we finished the lid on this. So um, it's a fairly tight fit, but um, I think it's better to be a tight fit than, than not really. So that's all hollowed out now. Um, lid is finished inside. That fits on quite nicely there. And now what we've got to do now is um, glue this on the top there. So it kind of looks like that going to glue this up overnight now and then once we glued that up put it back on the lathe uh, and then we need to hollow out a little bit in here to put our love uh, heart rock love stone stone love stone love rock heart rock it's a heart rock in there <laughs> Now that actually took me quite some time to do um, and uh, Keaton has been very patient with me um, now I know I don't normally do commissions um, it's not something that I do because I'm not a business this is just a hobby but Keaton's email kind of really moved me um, and his obvious love for his wife Pramel um, really kind of shone through on the email 
and um, it kind of just touched me really and I just thought you know what this guy and well this these this couple um, have been together for quite some time and um, it's their anniversary and he wanted to kind of commission me to make this pot because she kind of likes the pencil pots and I believe she's a teacher is she a teacher I'm not too sure um, and she collects these heart rocks as well so uh, Keaton uh, Pramel happy anniversary and uh, I do hope that you like the pot that I've made for you uh, you'll have it probably in your hands now um, it's not exactly as I kind of imagined it to be um, so you've got the pencils in here now I would have liked these to come out a little bit further but um, I can't get this any deeper um, because I just couldn't and I had quite a few issues making this they'll take you know when you, when it's off they still kind of just about stick out the end there you can see which color is which one and you can just reach in and grab it so I mean, it's, it still does its thing you know the pencils are in there um, but it would have been nice I think if they'd have kind of come out a little bit like that maybe about there and then this was a little bit deeper so you could sort of see them sort of like proud I think but I didn't I kind of failed to make this deeper I should have made this quite a lot more deeper about like this but that didn't work that didn't happen and I ran out of wood and I had to glue some wood together because um, I couldn't find out what the rest of this wood is and it all had to be in the same wood otherwise it was going to be useless um, but anyway I do hope that that you um, like it and everyone else watching enjoyed watching the video I know you've seen me make a few pencil pots before but um, I wanted to do this commission for um, Keaton and Pramel and um, I thought I'd show you as well me making it and I think they wanted to see it on video as well so um, there's the, the heart rock that I found and I decided at the end of it to go right the way through um, and I thought that might look quite cool as we've gone right the way through it's still kind of it's got a heart shape to it still on this side isn't it so and and that's just weird that is isn't it isn't that weird that it's got a heart on it I didn't paint that on there honestly that was just there um, unless somebody painted it on there like kind of like years ago I don't know but there we go I thought that was perfect really fits kind of nice nice little tight fit on there so that's perfect finished off with some um, Yorkshire grit um, and then um, we'll actually put a couple of coats of the chestnut uh, cellulose sanding sealer on there which is you know important you've got to get two or three coats of that on there then the Yorkshire grit which is a really great product and that really kind of brings it out really well and then I put some micro crystalline where is it there it is there it is micro crystalline uh, wax on it from chestnut as well these products are brilliant I definitely check these products out they're really good there's a link below for all the products um, that I buy from chestnut and um, so that's really cool that finished that off then I wanted a kind of an extra extra super shine so I used um, I used the trusted Shella wax. I don't know whether it's Shella wax or Sheila wax, but who cares? It's shiny. <laughs> um, so there we go. So um, there's the finished product. I will put some stills up at the end so you can see it. Um, I do hope you enjoyed the video and thanks very much for watching my channel. My hair is a complete mess and uh, I do apologise. Whoa. Um, but uh, I shall see you again for the next one. Take care. And again, happy anniversary, Keaton and Pramel. This is for you. <laughs>